On this inaugural episode of How To XRGB Mini, we are going to take a look at how to use your Frame Meister to get the best possible picture out of the Game Boy Player for the Nintendo GameCube. First, you are going to need a GameCube with the digital AV out port on the back. Nintendo removed this port on later revisions of the console, so make sure your GameCube has this port. Next, you are going to need the GameCube component cable. This cable is actually somewhat rare and absurdly expensive. Alternatively, you could also buy a Nintendo GameCube D terminal video cable, but they are equally expensive. In addition to either of these, you'll need a standard AV cable for the audio. Finally, if you went the component video route, you will also need a D terminal to component adapter. These are cheap. The GameCube defaults to 480i mode, so when the GameCube is booting up, you need to hold down the B button on the controller to get the option to enable progressive 480p video. Initially, the video quality is probably going to look less than satisfactory, not giving you the pixel-perfect video quality you expect. The picture will appear dark, whites will appear light gray, and there will be odd vertical shadows. So, here are the settings I use to correct these issues and get a beautiful image. One of the XRGB Mini's few weak points are its handling of 480p content and component video, but these settings should give you a near emulation quality on the big screen. 